In this video, traders, we're going to look at what is churning. Stay tuned. Hey, traders, a very warm welcome to you. Okay, so what is churning in its official terminology? And also, what are sometimes traders refer to as churning when we're talking from a trading perspective? Okay, so the official terminology or the official definition, should I say, of churning is when a broker is authorized to trade your account. You know, very, very many people have an account with a stock broker and that broker is allowed to place trades for that client with the idea of making money for them. So they'll sit down, they'll set out their investment risk or their risk, or their, should I say their investment goals, their attitude to risk, all this kind of stuff. And then they'll trade the account with that in mind. So that's an important kind of thing to look at first because churning is basically when a broker will trade to generate commissions and hence income for his firm, but trade too much. Now, this is a this is a kind of bit of a fine line because you've got in one hand the investment objectives of the client, okay? And then the other hand, the broker wants to make money. Now, there may be some sort of deal like a hedge fund structure where he's taking a percentage of performance, or it may just be that he's there and he, and he generates trades. Now, there's a bit of a conflict of interest when the broker is rewarded financially for making a transaction, but perhaps not so much for the performance. And so you can get into a situation where a broker or an unscrupulous broker might trade a little bit too much. He's incentivized to trade frequently. And this is when we kind of fall into the bracket of churning. Now, high frequency, high frequency is probably not the right terminology to use, but a higher frequency of trading turnover is okay if the client's objectives are to rotate and to cap short, capture short-term moves or shorter-term moves, or it's already in pre-planned, that's fine. But if they say someone has said, okay, I wanna buy a basket of dividend growth stocks, whatever it may be, and I want to hold those for a longer period of time, and as you see fit, rotate out of sectors that are overvalued into sectors that are undervalued, whatever the investment thesis may be. If that broker is ch trading maybe several times a week or several times a month, going out of one thing into the next, closing it, doing making lots of transactions and bringing that commission bill up, he could well be accused of churning. And that's illegal. It's basically, if you can prove the fact that this guy has, uh, I guess, acted outside of reinvestment objectives, acted in his own self-interest to try and generate commissions for himself and his firm, then you know potentially who could, who could be prosecuted for it, and quite rightly so. At the end of the day, that is just literally just taking money from somebody um, by fraud, almost. Okay, now let's move on to the trading terminology that we might use. So some traders may use the same thing when talking about their own account. We often call it over trading. We don't say, oh, we're over trading. But really, people, and oh, I've heard this many times before, people say, hey, you're just churning your account here, churning your account. In other words, you're generating far too many trades. You're trading for the sake of it. Yeah, you're not getting a financial reward from it like the broker would be. In fact, you're losing money because you're giving it all away to the broker. You're losing every time. But the mindset, is different. You're there, you're over trading, you kind of look at your account and say, hey, you know, I've, I've done, there's no reason for me to have rotated so many times from different stocks. And it could be from a trading perspective, short term trading perspective, it could be from a longer term investment perspective. Very often we'll fall into the trap of, hey, we want to kind of do, be doing something. And so even investors often will find themselves looking at the next thing and they'll close out of this and into that. And they'll go in from one, one hot sector to the next hot sector and this and that and the other. And although, okay, in the, in the actual official definition of churning, it's not churning, people always say, hey, you're churning your account, you're over trading your account. You're basically just creating that transactional volume with no real reasons to do so. So the official definition is churning, a broker's doing it illegally to generate money for his firm or for himself, trading many, many times unnecessarily. And the proof is if he's made unnecessary trades. So if you could kind of prove and say, hey, why did you do that? Why have you made five trades here and this and that and the other, going back to how you agreed your investment um, thesis or your investment kind of goals, and then no justification for the volume. So in other words, it's the same, same kind of thing. If you can't justify why he did it, and it is obvious that he's doing it just to generate commissions, then unfortunately he's been churning and there may well be a kind of legal angle to go down there to get some recourse from it. And ultimately uh, he may well get fined. And I'm not even sure what the, the I, I believe you can be fined up to a hundred thousand pounds and you can be barred from kind of anywhere from kind of a week to 10 years, depending on the severity of it. Uh, so that's churning guys. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.